going on guys this is Andrew Chicken and welcome back to another Minecraft video and this is a part like four of my epic build series in which I showcase some of the coolest builds that you'll see uh, they're really cool looking builds that's, that's all I can say in this one I'm going to be checking out this wonderful looking fort behind me this is a fortress built entirely in survival uh, you, you can't really cross it I mean look, look, look at that uh, very hard to get into, and it's got a bunch of insane redstone contraptions inside, uh, some which are, are all built by me, because this is my fort. This is called Chicken Fort, and if you guys, uh, if you guys look at my like, uh, what do you call it, backdrop on my uh, YouTube channel, you, this will look vaguely familiar. That's because this fort is actually where that backdrop is uh, was taken. Uh, that screenshot right there. So this is a pretty neat build. Be sure to drop a like on this video if you enjoy. Uh, let's try to get, I don't know, three likes on this video. Uh, that would be great. All your support is greatly appreciated. So anyways, let's get straight on with this video. And so, assume you're walking around. I always say this. Assume you're walking around. But uh, assume you're walking around or you're looking through these this nice looking stargate sea you know one of one of my cities see another city you know and you find chicken fort you teleport to here and you see this you see skeletons shooting out you luckily there's a protection over this entire area so they can't actually hurt you good uh, hi get please look please leave I haven't brought any equipment with me except this elytra which you can get on the server by doing slash kit flight so it's not very important for me to lose, and I've only brought some carrots because I was hungry. Because this moat is extremely deadly. This is... <laughs> it's just really, 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 really deadly. I There's like a 30% chance I'll get across it. So that's why I didn't bring any gear with me, is because this is very, very deadly. <laughs> this is a five block wide gap, so you can't jump across it. And uh, there's this, but, you know, it, you can't really jump across onto that. There's zombies trying to push me off, not, and now he's dead. <laughs> There's lava down beneath, and that's also a 30 block uh, depth, so you will die. And if, assume you're like a spider, you can't climb up here either because of the stairs that prevent you from climbing up. So this is a heavily guarded fort, and there's also uh, arrow cannons on all along this wall. It's dotted, it's, uh, there's just so many of them. It's ridiculous. So, very, very difficult to get across here. Uh, skeleton, I told you to leave. Die. Die. You know what? Get stone. Let's get a stone sword out and just murder this guy. Because, you know, I don't like skeletons. Die. Die. Good. You died. Okay. So, the only way... Aside from an Elytra, because uh, this was built in 1.8 before you could actually fly over this. Uh, with an Elytra, you could potentially fly across, which sucks. But if you want to get across the legitimate way, there's this button right here. It blends in with the wall, and you can only see it if you look straight down. You have to press that, and then parkour across onto the slime blocks, and bounce up off of those onto the iron doors. I am probably going to die doing this, given my luck. I'm really bad at this. So let's just go ahead and do this but I forgot to sprint rip in peace <laughs> but anyways uh, so yeah very difficult to get across hey I'm back home alrighty let's go here and uh, yeah look we made it wow awesome so let me go out here real quick assume you've made it across there and by the way the way this button works is it pushes up this villager into a tripwire which activates the redstone on this side semi-wireless redstone I guess you'd say but there is you know a wire attached to it it's a very thin string you can't really see it at all like you can kinda see it where my cursor is right there but it's very hard to see so then you come into here and these are supposed to be like this because what this is is an item frame like lock opening system type thing so you go ahead and uh, you t turn this around until this one is facing the door and then this one you do the same thing and like magic the door is open it's incredible technology really and if the door is shut you can open it from this side as well so pretty neat stuff let's go ahead and close these doors 
And now we are inside of this beautiful looking fort. We've got, you know, walls surrounding us on all four sides. This is the only entrance, by the way. All the other ones are blocked off by iron bars. But then you've got one, two, three, four, five different buildings. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some supplies real quick that you need to get into some of these buildings. This right here is the fort key card that says hello. You guys have seen plenty of key card doors on my channel before, so you know how this works. And then we've got this piece of redstone. So, let's go ahead and start taking a look at some of these buildings. Alrighty, so the first building right here is Ye Old or Old Blacksmith. And uh, I went ahead and grabbed the rest of my stuff because we're not going to be doing any more death defying stunts today. At least I hope not. But, uh, anyways, this building, first building erected in this, uh, this fort. Looks pretty cool in my opinion, although some of the detailing is kind of strange, like, what is that? What, what, what are those? But anyways, this blacksmith does what you would, uh, no, no blueberries. Sorry, Photoshop guy. Uh, <coughs> oh, say hi to YouTube. I'm recording. Tongue sticking out. But, uh, in here... Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear this or not, but there are minecarts underneath the floor. <laughs> uh, and that's because of the automated uh, furnace system underneath here. So what, how this works is, you have your combustibles in here, or like your cobblestone or whatever, and then you put your fuel, coal, whatever in here. Uh, and then, underneath the floor, maintenance, uh, you've got these different... Uh, ow, I fell ow help someone help uh self advertising here man alrighty so uh, let me get out of here real quick I'm gonna fly upwards up into the sky there we go okay so basically you if you come over here I this is so hard to navigate around okay if I come over here you can see we've got some minecarts up here. There's a good view of it. So that minecart over there takes stuff from the uh, combustibles chest, puts them into these hoppers, and these hoppers distribute them into the furnaces. This right here takes coal, fills up this minecart hopper, and distributes it into the furnaces. Now, the reason there has to be a stop right here is so this hopper can actually put in some of the coal. And then it can just glide over here, put a few coal into each hopper, and it gradually fills up each hopper. Uh, and then over here, down here, we have the output system. Uh, let me go ahead and... Actually, never mind. I'll just be careful when shifting, because if you shift too long with an Eltron, you'll just, like, fly forward. Uh, thanks to the plug-in on the server, that allows you to launch yourself up in the air like a boss. <laughs> but, uh... You've got these hoppers right here. They're all filling this up, and it, it's gradually filling that up. And then... It deposits everything into here. Now, like I said, this fortress is built in 1.8. So this glass uh, tube I have right here, uh, this uh, used to be able to have like a fence gate right here with a pressure plate, and that would glitch the items up into a hopper up there. But with the update of 1.9, it broke, and uh, I've seen a tutorial on how to fix it, but I still have no idea how to fix it. So uh, I'll and I haven't really bothered to fix it since. So this remains just completely broken. <laughs> but it used to work that it would detect using, you know, some fancy technology. It would detect when there were items in this dispenser and it would dispense them out in a machine gun type pattern. Uh using similar mechanics to my uh smart machine gun which you guys have yet to see. So, if we pop back up here, let's try to be cool and use our ultra like a boss. Go. Hey, that worked. Okay. So, let's go ahead and move on to our next building. Oh, and the uh, output would pop into this chest like magic because, you know, sorcery. And we've got a cauldron over here. Looks beautiful in this texture pack, by the way. If you guys don't know what I'm using, I'm using a 3D texture pack. If you Google 3D texture pack, uh, you'll see some different texture packs that pull up. Uh, if I go to my resource packs right here, uh, you can see I've got 3D models and default 3D. If you guys want to know what I'm using to make Minecraft look just like 
a hundred times better. Because look at that. Why wouldn't you want that in your Minecraft game? Or, you know, it, it just makes the Minecraft look loads better. So anyways, on to the next building. This right here, I think it's the mess hall, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's the mess hall right there. Beautiful mess hall. Now, obviously, this mess hall is not very cluttered, actually. But this is where you go to eat. This is like a cafeteria. And in here, we've got some more chairs, beautiful looking chairs. We've got a table right here where you can eat. This is meant to hold a bunch of warriors while they feast on all sorts of steaks and things. You've got a fireplace over here to keep this cabin warm. Uh, not really cabin, but still. You've got a fireplace, beautiful. And then, we've got, you know, bookshelves and some potted plants. But then if we come in here, we've got the kitchen. We've got a hanging rack without any tools on it for some reason. We've got a crafting table oven, refrigerator, you know, your standard stuff. But what you don't know is that there is a secret basement in this mess hall. I'm not, I'm not joking. There is a secret basement. Is it in the chest? Is it in the refrigerator? Do you have to enter the refrigerator? No. You do not have to go into the refrigerator. What you actually have to do is in this chest right here. This chest right here is actually a trap chest. You can see by the red glow around this handle. If I stand right here on this block and open this chest, I sink down into the floor and the water pushes me over to here and then when I exit the chest, pushes the block right up behind me. It, it, it's beautiful. And then we can come down into here where we find another invention from 1.8. This used to be an eye scanner, fully functioning. You would walk up to here and it would open the door. Uh, and this is because you could push an iron golem underneath these slabs. But with the 1.9 update, of course, they added mob collision detection and it broke because you simply couldn't do that anymore. You couldn't push the iron golem. And I don't think there is any fix for this. So rest in peace, eye scanner. You will be missed. But anyways, we can pop into here and this right here is my underground meth farm. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no meth down here, just some nether warts. You've got this carrot and potato farm, even though there are some wheat seeds and beetroot seeds in here. You can farm basically anything on this. It's really cool. And then you've got some cocoa beans farms over here. Bean, beans farms, farms, beans, farms, farms. Lots of S's. Uh, right here, basically, you turn this on. This starts doing things. And then you just... just Cocoa beans. Automatically harvest it. That, I'm not, I'm not sure why the graphics isn't showing that go down and then up. But basically it breaks this after the bud switch detects that the cocoa bean has fully grown. And basically you just do that. And I'm out of bone meal. Well, that's unfortunate. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off because the, it, the sound is just annoying. But we can come over to here. I'll show off my carrot farm. Carrots are great. Best food in Minecraft, 2016. Okay. So typically I like to wait a while until we get the minecart up to full speed. But basically you just do this. And it's set on a timer so that every time you hit the trip wire, it allows it to grow. Then it bone meals it and breaks it. And for some reason the graphics isn't updating again. But those uh, these blocks right here are in fact moving. Pretty sweet. So let's go ahead and put some of these carrots up. And... Nether wart farm, this is pretty basic. It's just an auto harvester. Breaks the floor and then you replant it. Because there's no real, like, replanting mechanism. But this is pretty nice. And you can't bone meal nether wart either. So this is about as uh, advanced a farm as you can possibly get. And then over here, we've got... Uh, let me put the nether wart up. I don't, know, I don't want nether wart. You warts. Yeah. Right here is the large flower farm. Don't know why there are some azure bluets. However you say that. Not sure why those are in there. But let's go ahead and get some rose bushes. Because I like these flowers. And right here is a piston. Which is a bud switch. Uh, how else would this work? There's no levers. So if we put this right here. It starts bone mealing it. And all these flowers come out. Now for some reason this doesn't work with uh, small flowers. But there is this, that, that, that. What the heck? What? Uh, alrighty, I'm not sure what that was, but uh, okay, so uh, we're back now, Got put the flowers in the chest, but this farm only works with these 
two block tall flowers, the peonies, the uh, lilacs, and the rose bushes. Uh, there's some sort of different farm for small flowers, which I don't have at this fort, and I don't really need at this fort. Uh, but I could build it really quick. It's just, like the Spencer's underneath some grass or something. I don't know. But all you have to do to head back up here is open the chest, the trap chest right there, and walk forward after you close, or after you leave the chest. And then you can just walk out here. So anyways, that is basically this side, except on the mess hall attached to it, we've got this small little wheat farm. We've got um, the, this villager, his name is uh, Slave, uh, th don't question my methods, he gets paid pretty well. <laughs> but what he does is he walks around this farm, and he harvests wheat. Uh, he just breaks it and replaces it with some seeds. Now, he doesn't pick up the wheat. And this is because his inventory is completely filled with stacks and stacks of seeds. Uh, and the wheat that's just lying on the floor gets picked up by a mine cart with a hopper underneath the grass. Uh, right underneath it. And it deposits it down here into this chest. We've got about a stack, stack of wheat right here. Uh... And quite a few stacks of seeds that the villager simply can't pick up. He doesn't have enough room. Uh, so here he is working right now. It's good good job. Keep working. Come on. Keep working. Faster. Faster. <laughs> okay. So uh, then we've got these three buildings right here. Uh, the fanciest being that one right there. Right, right behind this fountain. You can't see it. <laughs> but uh, over here we've got the butcher shop now what's in here uh this is like a rated r type things are you ready all right lag spike hold up reload everything there okay got rid of the lag spike so what's in here rated r material you got uh, uh, viewer, viewer discretion is advised there's plenty of blood and gore in here are you ready boom yeah <laughs> uh I, they went a little bit overboard, but this place produces plenty of meat. I mean, we've got we've got a decapitated chicken over here. Rest in peace, uh, 2016 to 2016. Uh, I lag, but uh, and we've got some dead. We've got a dead cow over here, hanging from a rope, and then we've got a dead pig over here, hanging from a rope. This very very gruesome. There's blood all over the floor, and. We've got some butcher tools over here. We've got a knife. We've got a cleaver. And we've got another knife. And underneath the floor is where all this stuff actually happens. Uh, so if I press this button right here, pop down into the floor, and down into here, we've got two farms. This right here is a chicken farm with plenty of chickens up there making a crap ton of noise. And then we've got a cow farm right here. Now, I'm going to go over this chicken farm first. So the way this works is you've got two chests right here. All right. And you've got chickens up there producing eggs. Those eggs get auto dispensed in the dispenser back there. into little baby chickens. You can kind of see behind the uh the sign right there. And these baby chickens when they grow up, they're going to their head is going to get roasted in lava. And their remains are going to fall into this hopper and eventually down into here. Now, I collect this somewhat regularly, so there's only four chickens in there, but we've got, like, 48 feathers, so if, I, if you ever need feathers, you know, plenty of them here. Now, this cow farm is a bit more sophisticated. We've got to get some breeding materials, some wheat, right here. We've got to press this toggle switch. Now, what's going to happen is the lava is going to get removed, and the cows are all going to float up, so they all can get some wheat. Hello. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. But these guys can... I'm eating carrots. What the heck? Okay, so you get give them wheat. Uh, there's four cows in there, so four wheats should be gone from your inventory. And these two cows are going to be pushed by the water stream into here. When they grow up, their head's going to get roasted in lava. Rest in peace. And we've got some steaks right here and some leather. So, uh, yeah, that's where all the gruesome stuff actually happens. The stuff above is just for... Some sick man's decoration. Uh, not, not sure who put that up there. <clears throat> yeah, let's just leave. <laughs> and so then, right here, this is probably my favorite building. Because uh, it has a pretty epic-looking interior. The exterior is decent. I mean, the roof's not bad. Uh, it could be better. But this right here is Lodging and Andrew Chicken's Bar and Pub. I've got a pub franchise on this server, and this just happens to be one of those pubs. 
because uh, you know pub right next to the mess hall competition <laughs> so you can come in here close the doors and you've got some more tables and chairs right here plenty of tables and chairs for all these warriors who want to get drunk on some uh champagne bud light i don't know uh you've got food over here as well plenty of plenty of food you've got plenty of mushroom stew bunch of empty bottles someone must have partied recently because there's no booze in here We've got some chicken, steak, bread. You've got the works in here. You've even got some fancy cooked rabbits, mushrooms. Make some mushroom stew, uh, or uh, rabbit stew, I don't know. So here's here's that. Then over here, we've got over here a roulette table. Looks pretty realistic. We've got a pool table over here. Uh, similar to what you saw in my uh, last video where I went over my chicken manor. But there's no balls on the table. Uh, and then over here, we've got a ping pong table. We've got stand right here. We've got a net right there. Can throw a ball over the table. That's pretty cool. And then, uh, back here you've got another... I... Lag spike. Okay, so over here you've got another table. This is where all the black market trades happen, you know. Those guys sitting in a corner while everybody else is partying. You know, you know what I'm talking about. And then over here. Seemingly bland corner. Alright? We'll get to that in a second. Because upstairs is where all the lodging is. This is where all of the bunkers are for all eight of our warriors here at this fort. I asked them all to leave so you guys wouldn't be disturbed by them, you know. So that's why there's uh, nobody here. That's definitely the reason. Uh, some more chairs. Got a couch over here. And you've got a balcony out here so you can look over the rest of the fort. Pretty nice view, I must say. But anyways, back down to that bland-looking corner. Because down here is probably the most important secret in the entire fort. This right here, if I put redstone right here, the trap door opens. You guys recognize this technology from my missile silo if you watched that video. If you haven't, you should go check it out. It's a really, really, really cool video. Uh, and I'm not just saying that. It's a pretty cool contraption right there. And then we can close the trap door behind us because can't have anybody coming in. Now, this actually uses a similar uh, version of my locked door that I just did a redstone tutorial on. Uh, so if I put this, uh, not redstone, uh, this fort key card right here. Put that in there. The door opens. And it doesn't close behind you, because uh, this is an outdated version of it. And then we can, we come into this room, where you can toggle the door behind you. And we've got two different uh, mechanisms. So we've got this, which locks all entrances. This not only locks this door, it locks every door in the fort. So you know that trap door in the mess hall? It locks that. The uh, trap door in the uh, butcher shop? It locks that. It locks a trap door. I think it locks the trap door. That we're going to visit in just a second. So if I pull this lever, closes the door, and locks it. Can't can't really do anything. Now this also, this also uh, if you guys watched the video, you saw the locking repeaters. Uh, this version actually requires that because of some strange mechanisms like this piston I believe only pushes back once I'm not I'm not sure what's going on right here but as you can see this is locked in place and there's something else locked in place somewhere but essentially all these uh, what how it locks all the other circuits is it locks the repeaters so that you can't change the redstone opening or closing a door so I'm gonna go ahead and unlock that for now and we can press this button because we're gonna leave in a second this right here just fires the arrow cannons. So if I press this, you can see, uh, we can't really see her here, but all the arrows around the fort, uh, all the cannons on all sides of the fort just fired. So, pretty sure somebody died. <laughs> uh, rip in peace. Uh, that's all I have to say. So we can pop back up here and close this behind us as if nothing ever happened. So that was the command center. Pretty cool area. And then, finally, there is one more building. This building right here. This is kind of like a barn silo type thing. This is a storage center. So if I pop into here, you can see we've got all kinds of stuff lying around. We've got logs tied to up. We've got a crap load of hay. So if the farmer ever, the slave ever quits uh, and I kill him in my rage, uh, we've got plenty of weed in here. Lasts us for a while. Got more logs. We've got a surplus of iron over here if you, if you need iron. And there's also a secret trapdoor under the floor. Now, I'm pretty sure if I put redstone right here, I haven't been here in ages. Yeah, put redstone right there. It opens up a trapdoor on the other side of the hay bale. 
And the hay bale is actually covering up the uh, redstone. It's not actually a full hay bale. And then in here, I I think this is broken. It is broken. But this fort key card is supposed to do the exact same thing, pop you into there. But there's nothing in there, so it doesn't really matter. And you can close the trap door behind you with that stone button right there. And uh, that's basically it. So, this has been the great, awesome, epic-looking chicken fort. It's beautiful. Beautiful-looking place filled with all kinds of crazy, intense, awesome, outstanding, amazing redstone contraptions that uh, basically make this fort self-sustainable. I mean, if you really need a mine, you could just mine underneath the fort. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's completely self-sustaining. Uh, and... It's also pretty close proximity to Urbanon. You can actually fly there if you really wanted to. Uh, just head in the direction of that red beacon. Uh, so it's in pretty close proximity to a city, and it's completely self-sustaining. Great fort. It's, it's just beautiful. So yeah, here's here's Urbanon right here. So uh, yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, uh, look at my face. It's beautiful. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like on this video. Uh, your support is greatly appreciated, and if you're new, be sure to subscribe. Okay, uh, g g goodbye.